What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, it's that time again. LOL Miner, BZ Miner, and Rigel Miner all released new versions on the same day, and we're going to see who takes the top spot once again for mining Nexa. But before we get into it, do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and take a look at each GitHub real quick. So Rigel Miner version 1.3.9 is the latest, and the dev fee is 2%. And then we have BZ Miner 13.4.0, dev fee is 2%, and there is an optional 1% community fund which can be enabled, but by default, it is currently disabled. And then lastly, we have LOL Miner version 1.70, which also has a 2% dev fee, uh, if I can find it. Where is it? There we go. Uh, yeah, 2%. So, before these new versions were released, let's go ahead and take a look at how they compared on version 1.3.7. 13.2.0 and 1.68. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you would know that it was a pretty close call, but it looks like if you were paying 10 cents per kilowatt hour, LOL Miner would be the best option for you. But if you were paying 15 cents per kilowatt hour, Rigel Miner would be the best miner for you. And BZ Miner comes right in between them. However, we do have some changes. So let me go ahead and take you back to HiveOS here for a moment and show you how to set this up. Now, depending on when you're watching this video may determine whether or not you need to go through these extra steps. So the time of recording right now is March 9th, 2023, about 10 p.m. And I would imagine that HiveOS is probably going to add these three different miners within the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the flight sheet for BZ Miner first. So we've got Nexa as our coin, then we've got our wallet, pool as configure and miner, select BZ Miner, and as far as the setup config, I'll let you take a look at that, and notice that our overclocks are 265 on the core offset, 1515 on the locked core clock, and the memory locked at 5001. Now, in previous tests, we have three different overclock settings to see which ones perform the best because you may not be using the most efficient, maybe you care about the most hash rate, or maybe you want to be somewhere in between. So in previous tests, we did 265, 515, and 5001. Then we did 280 on the core offset, 1300 for the locked core, and the locked memory at 5001 and then the core offset at 280, locked core at 1650, and then locked memory at 5001. And you can see we have total hash rate, total wattage, and total efficiency. The first card is a 3060 Ti, followed by a 3070, a 3070 Ti, a 3080, and then a 3080 Ti. So just keep that in mind as we go through these numbers here. So back to Hive OS for just a moment. Now, if you go into Setup Miner Config, you're going to notice that 13.3.0 is currently the latest version in Hive OS. But again, depending on when you are watching this video, would determine whether or not 13.4.0 is an option to select. So, in order to install the latest version, if it's not currently available and you're trying to get to this as quickly as possible you're going to need the following commands. So we can just copy this whole thing here. We're gonna go back to HiveOS. We're going to launch the Hive Shell. Now you can use the run command, right click and paste that command in here and run it from this screen. However, I like to use the Hive Shell so that we can see for certain that it has installed successfully. So as soon as this is done, we will launch the Hive Shell, and I'll show you how to do that. So once your screen loads here, you can just simply right-click 
paste from browser, right click again, paste, then hit OK. It'll populate that command here and you simply hit enter. At that point it will show you the progress of the installation and once it's done it usually only takes about 30 seconds to maybe a minute or two uh, before the miner kicks in and it starts mining. So that process is going to be identical for all three of these in case you have to do that. Now let's go ahead and jump into the results and see what we found. So bear in mind, these were the previous tests for versions 1.3.7, 13.2.0, and 1.68. And let's take a look at how they performed with the memory clocks 265, 515, and 5001. So a 3060 Ti on Miner got 58.84 mega hash at 106 watts. You can see the efficiency here at 0.555. On BZ Miner 13.4.0, we got 59.57 mega hash at 103 watts with an efficiency rating of 0.578. And on LOL Miner version 1.70, we got 59.94, just slightly higher than BZ Miner. However, we were one watt more, which dropped the efficiency down just slightly below BZ Miner. Then we have the 3070 at 71.24 mega hash at 124 watts versus 72.1 at 121 watts. And then we have LOL Miner at 72.56 at 124 watts. Once again, BZ Miner coming in on top. A 3070 Ti, we got 74.21 mega hash at 128 watts. Then we got 75.2 and 126 watts. And 75.58 at 127 watts. And the leader in this category, once again, is BZ Miner. For a 3080, we get 105.4 mega hash at 109 watts, excuse me, 191 watts. Then we got 106 mega hash at 184 watts, and then 106.6 at 190 watts. And in this case, once again, BZ Miner comes in on top. And then lastly, we have the 3080 Ti at 124 mega hash at 240 watts versus BZ Miner with 124 mega hash at 237 watts. And then we have LOL Miner coming in on top for hash rate at 125.5 at 241 watts. And once again, the leader is BZ Miner. So how did we perform with efficient, well, shooting for as much efficiency as possible? So we have a core offset of 280, locked core at 1300, locked memory at 5001. We've got our 3060 Ti at 50.13 mega hash at 88 watts. Then we've got BZ Miner at 50.87 mega hash at 85 watts. And then we have LOL Miner at 51.12 mega hash at 85 watts. And the leader this time is LOL Miner. Now we've got the 3070 at 60.12, 102 watts, 56.87 at 96 watts. And then we have LOL Miner at 58.51 at 100 watts and the leader in this category is BZ Miner. And then you can tell right off the bat the leader on the 3070 Ti and the best efficiency over any GPU is a 3070 Ti on BZ Miner with 64.26 mega hash at 100 watts and then we have Rigel Miner at 60.18 at 95 watts followed by LOL Miner at 64.53 mega hash at 101 watts. Notice the efficiency is almost neck and neck with BZ Miner. And then we've got the 3080 at 89.8 watts, excuse me, 89.8 mega hash at 162 watts on Rigel Miner versus 90.8 mega hash at 162 watts on BZ Miner. And then 91.28 mega hash at 163 watts for LOL Miner. And once again, the leader is BZ Miner. And lastly, we have the 3080 Ti at 105.7 mega hash at 209 watts on Rigel Miner versus 107 mega hash at 208 watts on BZ Miner. And then we have 107.5 mega hash at 212 watts on LOL Miner. Once again, the leader is BZ Miner. And then lastly, 
We've got overclocks of core offset with 280, locked core at 1650, locked memory at 5001, the 3060 Ti at 60.83 mega hash at 109 watts versus BZ Miner 64.45 mega hash at 118 watts versus LOL Miner version 1.7. We got 64.78 mega hash at 119 watts. The leader in this category, once again, BZ Miner. Now we've got a 3070 at 77.47 mega hash at 144 watts versus 77.81 mega hash at 141 watts versus 78.3 mega hash at 143 watts. Once again, the leader is BZ Miner. Then we've got the 3070 Ti, 80.72 at 145 watts versus 80.67 at 144 watts versus 81.04 at 144 watts. And in this case, LOL Miner just slightly edges out BZ Miner. And then we've got the 3080 at 114 mega hash, excuse me, 114.7 at 204 watts versus 113.4 at 196 watts versus 112.1 at 194 watts. And in this case, BZ Miner, once again, just slightly edging out LOL Miner. And then lastly, we've got the 3080 Ti at 129.4 mega hash at 246 watts versus BZ Miner's 131.7 at 246, which is actually more than LOL Miner at 130.4 at 236 watts. Notice we've dropped 10 watts here on LOL Miner, uh, which does put it in first place for a 3080 Ti as far as efficiency is concerned. So how did we do in regards to revenue and profit? The winner is BZ Miner at $1.43 in profit after $6.87 in revenue with a very, very close second to LOL Miner with $6.89 in revenue and $1.41 in profit. And it looks like they are edging out Rigel Miner by a significant margin at $6.81 and $1.32 in profit. Bear in mind, this is at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And in the last test, we did at 15 cents per kilowatt hour, but unfortunately, uh, the difficulty changes and price fluctuates, so these numbers won't reflect correctly. So we're just gonna stick with this. But regardless, it looks like BZ Miner is actually the winner by a very, very small margin over LOL Miner. Now, of course, keep this in mind. The only thing that truly matters is how many shares you are submitting at the pool. And the only way to properly test this is to be on a static difficulty pool or a non-VAR diff pool. So having said that, these are all extremely close. I don't think you could go wrong with any one of them, but I hope you enjoy the content and do me a favor before you go, hit that like if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys on the next one.